Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am Brokelly Best David. I'm a medical doctor. And tonight we have some testifiers that want to tell of God's goodness in their lives. First on the list is Elder Mono Ebide Laba. He had partial blindness resulting from left cataracts. You will hear him now. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You're <laughs> Appreciation, please. Appreciation. Praise the Lord. Our brother here is testifying of the fact that he has his left eyes not seen clearly. But as he came to this crusade, now he's seeing clearly. God has done it, so he's giving glory to God. Yes, can you Praise test, the Lord. Can you test him to see? I see you. I see you. What's the color? They got him. White. Oh. <laughs> God bless you. Your healing is permanent. The next testifier, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Please give her way to pass. Give her the way to pass, please. Praise the Lord. We have Madam. Bibiet Osai Sai. She had heart block, that's atrial ventricular block, for which a pacemaker device was in, implanted. And there were complications resulting with obvious failure of that pacemaker device. So she couldn't walk, numbness in the legs, she couldn't carry herself, and had been working with this walking aid since the past tw since 2017 but you will hear a testimony now do it by faith fast god bless you praise the lord okay my name is lena tosai from by elsa state i felt sick on in short, 15, 2015 till 17, it was so serious that we went to hospital and they put peacemaker in my left side. Of, they told me that my heart is blocked. So they put peacemaker in the left side of it. After some days, we decided I was using my legs to walk to bedroom everywhere until after some days we decided to reach out. The stitches cut open. 
So we came back to the hospital. They took me to second theater again, go and did the another operation. Then they transferred the peacemaker from the left side to the right side. So since after that day that I returned from the theater, before I know myself, I can't walk again, I can't drink water, nothing, until I was there. They were looking for the time to maybe death or what, I don't know, until we stayed more than three weeks in the hospital. We asked of the size and we went home. We were there until then, no way to walk. So people were supporting me to walk, do all the things until finally, physiotherapy advised me to buy this thing. So this thing helped me to support myself, to go to the hospital, to do exercise, do such everything until that on 22nd, one of my pastor friend from Deeper Life took a paper to give me, he said there is crusade here, so I should come here and he know that I will walk. Then I said I will walk on the 26th. It's my birthday too, so I will enjoy. <laughs> Put your hands together. What a mighty God. I will enjoy all the two parties together. We took love. So as we came yesterday, I was the person to reach this place. Stayed here under the sun. Since from morning till afternoon under the sun, till the rain, everybody leave the field to sides. Me and my daughter alone was stay alone until people feel back. So during the last prayer, we said, Amen. That is why I start to walk. The last Amen. The final Amen. <laughs> there is something behind that name. From that last end, we walk till this year. That is how it happened. Praise thy Lord. You are here, Mama. Put your hands together. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Leave her. Okay. Allow her to go. God bless you. God bless you. Please, can you help her? That place looks undulating. So, okay. God bless you. And then leave her uh, when she walks out of that place. Put your hands together. The choir now. 